After nearly a decade of theorizing, fans finally know how Game of Thrones ends. Bran was crowned King of Westeros, and Jon was sent to the Night's Watch for killing Daenerys. But that doesn't mean viewers weren't left with a few unanswered questions. One topic of discussion that keeps popping up online is how much prophecy, and particularly the prince that was promised prophecy, actually affected the show's endgame. The prince that was promised referred to a prophesied hero who was destined to lead the people against a darkness. In the final season, it seemed like the top three contenders for the role were Jon, Daenerys, and Arya. Following Jon's resurrection and Daenerys' arrival in Westeros, Game of Thrones continued to emphasize the idea that either Jon or Danny would be the one to kill the Night King and presumably fulfill the prophecy, right up until the moment that Arya stabbed the leader of the White Walkers with her Valyrian steel dagger. Arya didn't really fit any of the criteria presented for the Chosen One. Jon and Daenerys, on the other hand, both had strong arguments that could be made in their favor. Here's where the events of the finale come into play. Jon fatally stabbed Daenerys before she ever got the chance to sit on the Iron Throne, leading some fans to believe that he was the prince all along. If you're willing to believe that the darkness mentioned was actually a reference to Mad Queen Daenerys, or perhaps more broadly, the darkness of humanity itself, then Jon killing Danny would very much square Melisandre's prediction that both of their destinies were entwined with the prophecy. The show never actually confirmed the identity of the prince, or even whether the prophecy was actually fulfilled, leaving all of these conclusions up to fan interpretation. But there's still the possibility that our questions may be answered in the final two books of George R. R. Martin's A Song of Ice and Fire series. 